I had somewhat of a revelation this weekend. I'm still processing how I feel about it and considering if I should confront my parents. Anyway, here it is. I believe my parents resent me for starting my own family. I, 40M, come from a big family. I'm the second oldest of nine kids. My older sister, Jane, is just a year older than me. There is a six-year gap between me and the next sibling, then my mom had a kid every two to three years. Since Jane and I were the oldest we always helped with the little kids and the chores around the house. In fact, it was common for my parents and other adults to refer to us as Jane and OP and the kids. It's like Jane and I were not considered children, it's more like we were two other adults living in the house. We were homeschooled, so we were home all the time. Part of my job is that I would wake up, make breakfast for the kids, then get them started with their schooler activities before I started my own schoolwork. Jane would sleep in because she was more of a night owl, and it was her job to help at night with the baby, because there was always a baby. Jane and I did most of the chores around the house. We took turns either cleaning the kitchen or doing the laundry, of which there was a lot. I did all the guy stuff, like mowing the yard and taking out the trash. As I got older, I would delegate some of these chores to my younger brothers, but it was still my responsibility to make sure it got done. Once I was old enough to drive, I would run errands and take the kids everywhere. I can't tell you how many times I would take the kids to things like playdates or doctor's appointments. I would often tuck the kids into bed and tell them stories. To me these things were all just normal, but looking back on it, I was more like a second ad to the kids than a brother. Jane and I did have a lot of freedom as teenagers to go out with our friends if the chores were done. We didn't have cell phones back then, if we wanted to go out we would just tell our parents we were going and they didn't care, as long as we were back by the next morning. I moved out when I was 20, but I still spent a lot of time with my parents, and one of my younger siblings was almost always at my house. One brother, JJ, pretty much lived with me since he was 14 because he and our mom didn't get along. When JJ was 17 he got in a wreck, and he called me instead of calling dad, because I was just the one who handled those kinds of things. During all of this time, my parents always talked about how important it was for Jane and me to help with the kids because they were so busy with their ministry. I can't count how many times I had to drop what I was doing to take care of something because mom or dad were counseling someone. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. I hope I have painted an accurate picture of my childhood. Let's move on. I had not really dated much, but when I was 25 I met and started dating Anne. We fell in love fast and got married less than a year later. My younger siblings love Anne. She is a great cook and hostess, our house became the hangout spot. My younger siblings started calling her Mama Anne, something they still do to this day. We have now been married 15 years and have two kids of our own. My mom and Jane did not like Anne. Jane and Anne get along okay now, but Anne and my mom do not have a good relationship. I never understood why, but I think I have finally figured out it's because they see it as Anne having taken me away. As Anne and I focused on our relationship and started a family, I spent less and less time doing things for my parents. My dad liked Anne at first, but over the past few years, their relationship has soured. Throughout the years my dad has made comments to me about keeping up my responsibilities. One time he called me about one of the younger kids who had gotten in a fight with my mom and said, you better get your brother and change his attitude. It's not okay how he treated your mom and you are going to make him apologize. A few years ago Anne and I set some boundaries with my parents, telling them we were not going to raise or discipline their kids. Our home is always open to my siblings, but we no longer let my parents try and use us to straighten them up. My parents have not taken this well. About a year ago Anne injured her foot and couldn't walk for a while. Just as she was getting better, I was diagnosed with kidney disease, which then turned into kidney failure. I've had several surgeries, with another one coming in a few weeks. It's been a rough year. During this time my parents have not only refused to help, they have actively made things harder for us. Things like promising to help with our kids, but then cancelling at the last minute, usually because something ministry-related came up. Recently my sister-in-law, who lives in another state, had a baby, and my mom has been staying with her and helping for the past six weeks. My soul has said that mom is a godsend and is so wonderful. My dad has gone to help every weekend. This hurts me because my mom wouldn't give us a single night to help with our youngest when he was born. This weekend I was talking to another sister and telling her how I don't understand why mom and dad don't treat me like they do the rest of the kids, even Jane. It's like I'm not one of their children. 
and it just kind of hit me that they resent me for getting married and starting my own family and leaving them to raise their own kids. Part of me is relieved to finally realize why they treat me like they do, and part of me is sad. I'm kind of scared about this upcoming surgery, and I really wish I had a parent I could talk to about it. But I don't feel like I have parents, just some people that I co-parented my siblings with. Your parents used religion as an excuse not to parent. Extremely bad parenting and it was wrong expecting you to do the job they should have been doing. Your parents need a wake-up call about their selfishness. If hit them hard with what they have done wrong, then go no contact as you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. I had a friend in a family of 10 kids. They were very religious but not homeschooling, I'm not against homeschooling, it's just that a lot of parents don't follow through and use the kids for errands at home. The two oldest were the caretakers for the rest. The oldest left the family and they have cut her off. I think you are absolutely correct in assessing their view. I'm so sorry, OP. It's all so unfair. Your parents basically cranked out babies for you and Jane to raise, while they got to look pious with their ministry. But at least your siblings love and value you. You and Anne sound wonderful. Update. I believe my parents resent me for starting my own family, this is a brief update, and then I will answer some questions. I spoke with my wife, Anne, about it last night. I said something along the lines of I've realized that my parents resent me for starting my own family and not helping them as much, and that is why they treat me so differently. And I think you've been trying to gently tell me this for years, but I was too dense to get it. We were sitting in the bed at the time, and she leaned over and patted me on the head and said, you are so pretty. I laughed for like 10 minutes, it was a great emotional release. A lot of you said she sounds wonderful, and she really is. I just can't express how much I love her about Jane, my older sister. Jane did get married and start a family, about two years after I did. Jane and I had a falling out and didn't speak for several years, but we are okay now, just not very close. Our falling out was more about religion than anything. She is very religious like my parents, while I am not. I am religious and we attend church, but it's not our whole life like it is for my parents and Jane. Younger siblings? The youngest is 22, so they are all adults now. The second to youngest passed away several years ago, so there are eight of us now. I am very close with all of my younger siblings. They still come to hang out at my house all the time, and they are all great aunts and uncles to my kids. All of them, including Jane, are upset with how my parents treated me this past year. Help with my kids? While I am disappointed in my parents for not helping, I do not need their help. Anne and I have close friends, plus we both have siblings that help. Anne's parents live far away, but they help when they can. We really are okay and feel very blessed and loved with all help we have received. Therapy? Part of my kidney treatment plan includes access to a therapist, and I love her. She has been great in helping me learn to live with an illness. I'm not sure if she is the right person to speak with about my parents, but I will ask her and see if she can refer someone if not. I will wait until after my surgery to bring this up, as I need to just focus on that right now. Setting boundaries? When I say my parents won't help, it's not that they say they won't help, it's that they offer to help and then either bail at the last minute, or they change the plans so much that it causes Anne and I a lot of stress. A few months ago Anne was sick, and my mother offered to pick our kids up from school. It's a long story, but she kept changing things and making it very complicated, and my youngest ended up being left alone for a little while, and he got scared. After that, I had a harsh talk with my parents and told them how disappointed I was in them and how I needed to focus on my health and they were making things worse. I told them they are not allowed to take my kids anywhere and they are not allowed to just drop by at my house and in fact, they were not even allowed to offer to help because my mom doesn't take no for an answer and will nag until she wears me down. My parents were mad about this, but all seven of my siblings took my side and rallied about me, and so my parents have respected that so far. Going no contact? A lot of people recommended going no contact. I don't want that. I still love my parents, even though they have not been great parents. My kids love them too, and I don't want to take that away. They are good grandparents when they show up. I don't think my parents are awful people, I think they had this vision of how they wanted to have this big family and this big ministry, and I think they just didn't realize the responsibilities they put on Jane and me.
I have spoken to them in the past and expressed how it was messed up that they put so much on us as kids and they have apologized. Putting my parents on blast at their church. Several people recommended going to their church and telling people how they have treated me. You don't understand this church, they would praise my parents for putting God and the ministry above everything else. These super religious people are crazy. I guess that's it for now. My surgery is in less than two weeks, so I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to put this thing with my parents on the back burner, and later I will decide what, if anything, I'm going to do. Thanks again to everyone for your comments, it has really helped me work through some feelings. Make sure you have a will set up and your wife is POA, and that in no way if you pass after the surgery, that your parents can claim anything of yours including access to your children. I'm going to say something you should repeat to your therapist, having part-time good parents mean they were all the time bad parents. Now, just repeat that to your therapist and they will understand. Let me explain. If you're a parent you don't get time off or get to turn it off just because it's inconvenient. Think about your own life. You have a serious illness. Have you ever slacked off in the care of your kids? Probably not. It might have changed how you did things, but you were still a good parent 99% of the time, 1% for times when we mess up. I hate to say this, but those good parent moments were nothing more than a show. It's a form of gaslighting. Not a therapist myself, but rather integrated with someone dealing with issues. You may want to bring this up with her just to give her background information get the referral process started. As simple I know we don't have time to deal with this now, but some background information on me is, once we get to a slightly less busy time, I'd like to get a referral to someone appropriate for this issue. Knowing about these issues may impact how they deal with your current issues, and referrals can take forever to process.